interesting alpha to drop on all of you. Michael, how are you doing today? What, what, is, what has been your thoughts and experience of this incredible event so far? Just wow. Just wow. I mean, legitimately speechless. You know, really just one question. What bear market? <laughs> We're definitely the not feeling that bear market today. today. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, seriously, the energy in here today was just incredible. What a fantastic event. Um, you know, before I get started on an abbreviated town hall here, I think everybody, please uh, uh, show some appreciation in chat for our wonderful hosts, Ash here in the main track, Santi, Jose, uh, leading up the Brutent track today. Uh, really incredible job, guys, managing this. I, I also uh, want to want to make sure uh, we show some appreciation for the production team for pulling this whole event together. Uh, really of a first of its kind. I don't think I've ever seen anything executed in Discord like this previously. Such a good turnout. Everything is on time. Uh, everybody had an opportunity to present. Um, so, you know, a lot of this was led up by the, the RevOps team, you know, Pablo, Michelle, uh, Michael Sinkler. Uh, Chava, um, if I'm missing anybody there, I apologize, but guys, really fantastic job pulling this all together. Of course, a big thank you to all of the guilds out there that presented. Like, you guys are, you're crushing it. And I made a comment over a year ago, I think it was February of 2021, and I said, you know, you're already playing the game. We're in this, right? And this, to me, is demonstrative of that philosophy that people are here, they're building now, they're creating content, they're recruiting, they're forming strategy. Um, and more importantly, we're building community guys, we're building those bonds. And so um, I'm just blown away, like legitimately blown away. And, and kind of just uh, in closing on this, you know, a big thank you to all the special guests as well. You know, that base jacker set, that was awesome. I know I was rocking out here. Um, and the, uh, the frequency, breathing uh, exercise. I, the first time I've done that, I don't know if anybody else out there in the audience has ever done this before, but um, definitely took me to a different plane of existence. <laughs> uh, it took me about 30 minutes, I think, to come down from that natural high and uh, just really cool. You know, of course, our sponsors, again, I Buy Power and um, you know, Justin Kahn was really cool just hearing his experience and, and that dialogue with him and Pablo. So um, I was stoked, I was glued to the screen this whole time, uh, watching all of the presentations, cleared the calendar for the day to make time for this, and I'm so, so glad I did. So again, this is the first of many. Looking forward to doing more of these. Ash, you men mentioned you know once a year. I think we will do this more frequently. And if I may, as I get started here, um, just also kind of comment on the fact that this is the first of the community driven events. Um, uh, something we've never really revealed previously, but you know, part of this exercise and in, in producing this event was forward looking in terms of what type of experiences and interactions and integrations we want to create in the future. And everyone here listening in is uh, got firsthand knowledge of the type of innovation that's being created um, around this ecosystem. And we want to further support that as we progress and as we go into the future. And so, you know, upcoming events, including things like hackathons, where uh, we'll be sponsoring packages, we'll be hosting live events, we'll be hosting conferences. Uh, we want to stimulate this type of creativity and this type of innovation within our ecosystem. And so uh, we'll be allocating resources to that, uh, allocating tokens, alloc allocating cash, uh, securing venues, and ensuring that we can continue to foster the connectivity of the community that, that, that exists here because um, this is something that just doesn't exist around the world. So super grateful to everyone for attending. Um, do we have Santi on stage here? I know he's going to be supporting me here with- uh, and some... Of course, of course, man. Of course I'm here. It's a town hall. It's a, even if it is a mini town hall, it's a town hall. There he is, man. You did a great job today. I really appreciate it. Giving away all the great gifts. Um, Santi, I, I think though, I think I might have been dethroned as the king of alpha. I mean, I, <laughs> I was watching the chat and everybody was chanting for Chipto, which I love. I love. Um, but, uh, you know, between all of the great information that, you know, Anthony and Luciano gave, um, uh, uh, Stefan provided on the growth side of things, like everybody was revealing some of the progress and development and uh, innovation that we're creating and, and working on 
behind the scenes here, I, I hope um, that the community just really appreciates how much effort, how much energy, how much passion goes into all of this. And, and um, you know, it might not be obvious, but I think just with bringing the team members out and, and opening this dialogue with you all, I hope it was beneficial. Yes, sir. Uh, can you hear yeah. me actually, Michael? I see some some people saying. That. I can hear you. Okay, yeah. perfect, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I was just checking. You know, you say you have been dethroned as the king of Alpha. This is your moment to get back that title, man. Earn it <laughs> back, right now. Yeah, man. Um, well, we do have some great things to announce today. Uh, you know, I do want to maybe just prep conversation as well. Again, mentioned that this is an abbreviated town hall. <clears throat> we have a really big crowd today. Uh, I'm assuming there are some new people to the community listening in on this. So uh, just to fill everyone in on uh, what the town hall is, um, the, the town hall is a, a community amphitheater that we host in Discord. Uh, we do this on Fridays every three weeks. Um, and the purpose is for us to create an open forum for us to share with you um, ongoing and current development progress across the company. But beyond that, it's also an open forum for um, Q&A. So it's a live Q&A. We select members from the audience to join us on stage. And, um, you know, no question is off limits. So it's a, again, open forum Q&A. So if you, if you haven't been to a town hall in the past, welcome you to join us in the future. And the next one that's up and coming, the, the full hour uh, will be scheduled next Friday. Um, so hope you'll join us there. But without further ado, Santi, I think we should jump in, share some details. Yeah, Michael. Yeah, Michael. Not sure if you, if you heard me before, but I told you that if you say, you think you have been dethroned as the king of Alpha, this is the moment to earn the title back. I, I heard you, Santi. I intentionally ignored that comment. Ah, okay. Okay. I thought, <laughs> I, I thought it was my connection, man. But you, you need to be cheap on this one. I'm just trying to get you hyped, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, let's do this. Uh, why don't we just start off with the, the, the biggest hype I can bring out. And, you know, there's a, a meme that's going around in our Discord we kind of initiated it, but the community adopted it, and it's this idea of four to six weeks um, for releases. But what I will say today uh, is four to six weeks is officially back on the table, and we're very reserved in <laughs> any time we reveal dates uh, just because we want to ensure that you know we can deliver in a timely fashion and we don't overpromise and underdeliver. But I will tell you guys, uh, we're expecting six major releases to come out in the next four to six weeks. So um, let me start with one that's uh, super exciting from our side. It meets that AAA quality development standard that we've laid out for ourselves in the vision that we've laid out to you all. And that is uh, the showroom, the Volon Studio showroom client. So this is the official Unreal Engine game client that will be downloadable on your desktop. It will be integrated um, natively with a Solana wallet in the game client, first of its kind. Um, and again, for anyone that isn't aware or familiar with the showroom, this is a, a the UE uh, social centric experience and asset interaction uh, uh, tech demo. So you'll be able to enter into showroom in first person and third person, um, uh, uh, call in your assets and, and then inspect those live uh, in the game client. And Santi, I think we have a an updated kind of a latest demo uh, that we're going to show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we will be showing the pictures on announcements. It will be Dom, the one posting it. And you will see everything that we are mentioning now on announcements at the very top of this server. So scroll up to the top and find the announcements channel. And this is a good moment I, I would like to take to give a huge shout out to Dominic. Dominic yes. has been helping me insane, like crazy. He has taking off so much load from my back. It has been crazy. So big shout out to Dominic. Great job, Dominic, especially today. So he will have the honors of, of posting what we are mentioning. So what do we, what do you want us to post now, Michael? Tell us. But let's post the, uh, the video demo of the showroom. And I'm glad you mentioned Dom. I knew I was going to forget to mention someone's name, but he's done an incredible job. Uh, helping to orchestrate and coordinate this whole thing. So Dom, big thank you for me as well. And big thank you from the team and I'm sure from the community as well. 
Um, so if we're going to post in the announcements, that's great. We'll post the, uh, the demo of the showroom first and foremost, um, that is up and coming. It will be one of the earlier releases of the six that I'm going to outline, um, uh, along the same timelines though, um, a never before initially, uh, 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 officially announced release, um, uh, we've alluded to it in the past with our omni-channel multimedia content strategy, uh, but officially today here on Copa. Uh, going to be announcing the creation and release of a Star Atlas graphic novel. Now, the graphic novel is uh, essentially in comic book format. Um, it is going to be a comprehensive, hardbound, full uh, novel in time. But in the interim, we'll be releasing these periodically every couple of weeks, so new issues. And this content is going to be consumable by everyone digitally, it will be available to everyone online to read and, and get immersed in the lore. Um, however, we will be associating this with uh, an NFT drop as well. The NFT drops can be redeemed for physical copies uh, of the uh, graphic novel as well. Santi, in here, can we do a screen share and can we actually just share one of the uh, cover renderings of the graphic novel today? And as we're pulling that up, I will drop one additional hint. This is kind of the alpha for the graphic novel, but it is, uh, what I'll tell you is keep an eye out in the showroom for some Easter eggs. You might be able to snag yourself a free copy or two uh, of, of the graphic novel as it's rolling out. Yeah, it's now posted on announcements. If everyone wants to check it now. Uh, maybe we can get someone to share the screen as well, but if you want to check it right now, scroll up to the top of the server and you will find it. Oh, Dominic, Dominic on it. There's the man. Great. Yeah, so stylized graphic novel again, background, story, lore. Um, and, uh, um, you know, big shout out to Danny, uh, Tim McBurney on our team is the, is the artist and the creator the designer behind the graphic novel. He's doing a fantastic job and this is a fun story. And then just to give you a little more background on that quickly, because I know we are kind of on a time crunch here, uh, a little more background is that the graphic novel um, is the prequel to current era Star Atlas. So this is a series of events leading up to current era Star Atlas, the year 2620. Um, so I mentioned six, that's two. Um, the highly anticipated, uh, very much desired Star Atlas DAO will be coming out uh, at some point in July as well. And uh, the big functionality for the DAO initially is going to be, there we go, is going to be uh, the Polis Locker. So this is the staking mechanism. Um, as you can see on the screen, uh, a lot of metrics associated with uh, not only the uh, kind of ecosystem supply and, and uh, activity, but also there will be a segment there for your um, personal activity as well. So you can view your balances, your staked amount, your voting weight. Um, and all of this leads into the true functionality of being able to participate in governance within our ecosystem, submit the proposals uh, through a discourse channel, and uh, well, rather discuss uh, potential proposals through discourse and then all proposals, get those voted on and see the change that you want to see within the Star Atlas ecosystem. So um, DAO's rolling out and then a kind of release is the polis staking or polis locking functionality. Uh, Luciano, uh, for anyone that was in the brew tent, gave a great overview of the Marketplace 2.0 that's coming out uh, next month as well. A lot of enhanced functionality, improved UI, cleaner user experience, uh, simpler user experience, and this is also setting us up, preparing us for the future as your currently SFT or semi-fungible token uh, Star Atlas assets convert and evolve into true NFTs. And that will take place as you engage in gameplay, as your character progresses, as your account progresses, and you customize and configure your ships. They become truly unique asset, one of ones. Um, and it will be important for us to have the infrastructure in place on our marketplace uh, to be able to support those types of individual sales. So super exciting that that's coming out. Um, uh, I'm sure we'll drop some of the UI presentation that Luciano uh, shared in the brew tent, but uh, we'll get that released out to you. And then two major components of that that are up and coming are the referral program will be uh, associated with your profile um, on the marketplace and um, uh, going forward. And that's where your referral link will live as well. And you'll be able to recruit people to the Star Atlas universe uh, and earn yourself some nice rewards as well. 
Um, coming later, this is not part of the six releases, but coming later, the Atlas staking program will be rolled out. The Atlas staking program will actually live on the DAO application, the, the, uh, the mock-up that you're looking at right now, but it will have direct functionality and benefits for people um, using the marketplace. So more to come on all of that. Um, Mo did a, another phenomenal job presenting Scream earlier today, so we don't need I'm incredibly excited about the gaming content and the gameplay loops that are coming with Scream. That's a later in the year release, but um, re really going to be an exciting opportunity to introduce the true economic loops and the true gameplay loops as we continue to build out that AAA quality Unreal Engine experience. Um, Santi, we do have, uh, for this, we have some 3D assets. We've shared in the past, we made a decision earlier this year uh, to undertake a pretty significant effort, which is um, moving from the text-based browser game to a full 3D playable game in Play Canvas with WebGL assets. And so these are technically low poly, not the same level of detail that you get um, in, in the full nanite fidelity of Unreal Engine, but these are looking incredible. We also have a video of the Calico Guardian, if we can share that one with everybody really quickly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everything is getting posted on announcements as well. There we go. So this is what your ship will look like in Scream. You'll be able to inspect the ship. And as we, you know, post V0 uh, release of Scream, things like ship configuration, where you can actually customize and modify the individual components within that asset, um, you know, it, just absolutely beautiful work coming out of all of this. So Michael, let, last let me thing. interrupt you one second. Because I know sure. people are getting stressed because they can't see uh, the streams because they are full. But we are showing in the streams the same things that you can check right now on announcements. So if you didn't manage to make it to a stream, just scroll up, go to announcements, and we are showing the exact same thing. So don't worry. Awesome. Thanks, Santi. We don't want anyone to miss out. We'll make sure this content gets... It sounds like it's already there in the announcements channel. So. Um, and really final announcement for me today, and, and uh, actually I was kind of on Twitter, I was you know on multiple discords, I was on Telegram all day. Uh, the uh, Metaverse Explorer actually beat me to the punch on this one with the video review earlier today when he was talking about the rollout of the Mamba. But uh, we did officially roll out a careers page uh, with a number of job listings. Um, in many cases, those job listings, by the way, the titles, we're actually hiring multiple people for those roles. So it's not just an individual uh, position that we're filling, but multiple with each of those uh, titles. And so if you're interested in joining the team, as I said, we are still in a strong position. We are still hiring. Uh, beautiful. Here's the, uh, here's the showroom content, but we are still hiring. Um, so if you'd like to apply, head on over to Star careers and you'll see an outline of the various jobs that we have available there so um santi i know i'm over here i know we have winners to to announce and i'm sure everybody's really excited to to hear what the uh the judges have decided and you know i will yeah, say yeah, yeah one second I, we have something missing from the announcements i'm going to post it right now and it's the showroom clip one awesome. second Mike. yeah and i will agree i do not envy the position of the judges. That's going to be a, a very difficult uh, choice to make. Yeah, so it's it's been uploaded right now, the, the video. You're going to be able to see it on announcements as soon as it loads. So don't worry, guys. It will live there forever, so don't worry. <laughs> uh, let's check if the judges have made the decision. I have to say, I want to give huge props to the judges today, you guys. That was not an easy decision for them to come up with. It's definitely the most difficult decision anyone can can ha can make in the Stratless community, for real. Do, do we have Pablo by chance in here? I think we have Pablo, yeah. We should have Pablo. Hello, hello. Pablo, I'm sorry, man. I, I When we got on, I said speechless and then i rambled on for, for 25 minutes so uh hard to contain <laughs> oh not 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 a lot of rambling man you know every time you speak uh the ears are very alert and the heart rate is pumping 
Um, hello, universe. I, I just just wanted to, um, you know, say a few words here. Uh, you know, today was another historical moment. I, I think for the for the future of mankind, one can say. You know, um, we really reinforce the Star Atlas energy together, which I think is extremely important for um, our collective energy, which was also felt across space and time. Uh, for those who who don't know this voice or haven't heard this voice before. My name is Pablo Quiroga. I'm the co-founder and chief revenue officer at Automata, which is the creator and developer of Star Atlas. Um, <clears throat> I quickly just want to send some love to the greater Web3 community and all the amazing MUDs, Onis, and Oosters who uh, share their virtual hugs and vision and innovation with us today on the chat. Um, to the Star Atlas ecosystem DAX who presented today and who are going to present in the future, from the bottom of our hearts, we see you, we hear you, and we thank you for joining this transformational experience. You are building the future of Star Atlas. Huge shout out to Solana uh, ecosystem for their North Star bound, logical and functional aspirations, um, like reaching speed of light transaction speed, censorship resistant systems, and decentralized node infrastructures. Without the, the, the infrastructure, um, we wouldn't be able to build the future of Web3 gaming. And last but not least, the amazing Star Atlas team who produced today's historical event. Um, I, <clears throat> I do have to do a shout out. Sorry, I just drank a, uh, an interesting smoothie. Um, Michelle Hips, uh, Michael, Sinclair, Ruslan, Jessica, Ashley, Dominic, Santi, Harrison, Darwin, Justin, Miguel, Jose, Clara, Dave, Matei. Um, I think I think that's everyone. You know, uh, I, it's 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 amazing what a what a small team can do. You really um, elevated and leveraged, maximized, extracted everything that Discord has. Um, and of course, you know we can't do this without the amazing um, product developers and artists and engineers who are also building uh, this this experience that we all want to uh, be a part of. So, you know, um, I, I, I think I can speak for, for, you know, for Danny, for Jacob, for Michael, that um, we're extremely happy um, that, that we're able to share space here today. And we can't wait to do this in person at some point in the future. Um, so as Michael says, uh, power to the people, love and light. I'm going to pass the mic back over to Michael. Uh, let's announce the winners. Yeah, man, very beautifully said. Um, and in just the next 30 seconds while we uh, await confirmation of the results, I just want to mention we've alluded to this, I think, a couple times throughout the day, this, this, this concept of the Star Atlas summer. Um, you know, maybe more appropriate for the people residing in the Northern Hemisphere, but um, things are heating up. We could not be more excited about the progress that we've made uh, over the course of this year. You heard some of the announcements today of the upcoming releases, There's many more of those in the pipeline, um, some great relationships that have been formed and uh, we're not slowing down. We're just moving faster. So glad you're all with us here on the, on this ride. Yeah, I have the, I have some winners to announce here. Steiner. Would you allow me to do it? You are uh, Santi Claus, so I, I think it's only appropriate. Yeah, okay, I got it, I got it. So the last winner for the headphones, last headphones winner, I'm trying to scroll up in our chat, which is crazy as well. Like, I feel like our internal chat is kind of like the like the main stage chat right now. I, I feel it the same way. It has been a lot of coordination, so I love all the shout outs and everything. So I'm trying to find actually right now the name of the last winner for the headphones. One, one second. One second. Can I just say I forgot that we had a winner to announce for the headphones. I got really excited yeah. though when you said you have some winners to announce. I was like, oh, it's time. <laughs> yeah. So I have the, the last winner for the headphones is Xfield number one three four five. Xfield one three four five. Congratulations, you won yourself some really nice headphones from Height, the brand from IB Power. So congratulations. And now, 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 the big <laughs> prize, the big prize for the audience, 
the biggest thing. Wait Everybody's waiting for this. Can we get yes. some drum rolls going in that chat, guys? Let's get some drum rolls. This is a big one. Yeah, let's enjoy this moment. Let's enjoy this moment. Let's put some hype music right now. This is a big one. This is exciting. This is what all yeah. of this is coming down to today, you guys, is this, are these next few announcements. Reawakening our intergalactic urges. There's a great line by Marina Benjamin when she said, When we dream of space, we dream of transcendence. We dream of what we might become. It is ourselves that we look into when we look out into space. And this is where the metaverse is so interesting. For I think what Star Atlas is rendering finally is a cosmos in which we can explore. A cosmos in, we, in which we have agency. We are not just passengers along for the ride, but we get to be pilots and steer this mythic intergalactic quest universe. And to that end, the fusion of those two things could potentially could potentially be unleashed by Star Atlas. It is our latest attempt, our, our, our latest iteration, the latest space station on our trajectory towards the... Oh, all right, point. all right, all right. We dream of space, we dream of transcendence. All right, the Santi, moment. what you got? The moment is here. I have the winner for the PC and the big winner of the PC for today is drum rolls drum rolls Kelmet Karenia number 8522 Con congratulations that's an amazing amazing prize it's an amazing prize you won yourself a one-on-one -on -one, uh, PC repeating again if you didn't hear Kelmet Karenia 8522 Kelmeth, Karenia, 8522. So big congratulations to Kelmeth. Our team will be reaching out to you on how to get this uh, delivered to you. And well, big congratulations, Kel. Uh, you are very well known in the community. Uh, just to be clear, we did all the raffles of everything with bots. We can send the screenshots later. So congratulations, Kelmeth. Congratulations, you won yourself an NFT and a PC, a beast of a PC. So congratulations. So now, Michael, I will give the mic to you. Announce, you can announce the winners from the judges. Oh man, it's an honor. Um, well, before I start, I just want to mention that we will, it's not confirmed, but I'm sure we'll be releasing the judging criteria on this as well. I'm sure it was not an easy decision on behalf of the, the judges. Um, we did select objective independent judges for this. Uh, they were anonymized, as you could tell with the, the voice scramblers. But um, without further ado, let me start with third place. Big winner, third place is the club. Congratulations. All right, are we ready? Are we ready to move into number two or do we want, we want to hype this up a little more? Yeah, yeah, let, let's, yeah. Uh, let's remember that there's still one giveaway ongoing, which is for the Star Atlas t-shirts. And you need to, be, to go to Twitter right now and post a tweet with hashtag Star Atlas Copa. Hashtag Star Atlas Copa, and we will be announcing the winner of these t-shirts tomorrow in the Twitter spaces. You got it, Michael. All right, all right. And coming in, in second place, we have Dark Matter. Congratulations, Congratulations Dark Matter. Yeah. Well done, guys. Well done. Wow. Congratulations, Dark Matter. Well deserved. Do we have any guesses out there for number one? I want to yeah. see in the chat which guild has the biggest support. Yeah, let's right see. Now. I love it. Yeah. Let's see what you guys think. 
Wow, the chat is going crazy. I can't oh even keep God. up with it, Santi. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys, I'm so excited right now for this announcement. Like, I'm so excited. You guys have worked so hard for all of this, and oh, this is going to be incredible. Did we break the chat? Oh, oh wow. Man. This, is <laughs> this is insane, man. So, yeah, Michael, I think you got it. I think you got it. Yeah. All right. Um, so, the first place winner of the very first ever Star Atlas Copa event is Coexist. Coexist. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations! Coexist. I think. Wow, this is I, crazy. I think the mission was accomplished in in uh, trying to break Discord today. You know, I wonder how many mice and keyboards were broken today as well. Seen, I've never <laughs> seen this much spamming. Yeah. We might need to get in touch with iBuy Power about uh, maybe supplying some keyboard mice. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Well, that's it. It's sad to go, but this was really an incredible event. Again, uh, a huge, huge thank you to our team for pulling this all together. A huge thank you and congratulations to all of the guilds that had an opportunity to present. Um, those of you that were not selected as winners, uh, fear not. You do have uh, an opportunity for a one-hour consultation, direct phone call with our RevOps team. We'll be working directly with you guys one-on-one -on -one to ensure um, you know, we're going to be developing out the tools, the infrastructure, the architecture, the picks and the shovels that you need uh, to succeed in, in this ecosystem. So um, uh, all of the runners up will be eligible for that. Uh, get in touch with the RevOps team to schedule, but otherwise guys, what a, what a fantastic job and uh, what a great event. Can I just go ahead and throw it out there real quick? It has been an awesome event, and I just want to say congratulations to our winners. Tomorrow we will be having a very special Twitter space where we will be recapping the entire event, and I would love to have, I know Santi and I would love to have you, all three of you on there, so we can chat about the day's events and congratulate you as well. Yeah, definitely. We will be having a great Twitter spaces tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, yeah. Wow. Thanks for joining to Copa. I think it's the moment to close. And as always, this is a Star Atlas. We did this for you. We wouldn't be here without you. And power to the people. Let's take it to the man. See you, everybody. Reawakening our intergalactic urges. There's a great line by Marina Benjamin when she said, When we dream of space.